It's not much fun, is it? And it's not fair. You put some time away to do a bit of gardening, Mother Nature doesn't want to play the game. Well, I'm going to pretend I'm God, take Mother Nature out of the way and create my own little landscape and I'll be high and dry doing it. It's fun on a rainy day, but it'll be fun any day. I just got to get to the back veranda. Well, that wasn't much fun, but this will be. Now, I'm not necessarily doing bonsai, I'm doing penjing. It's not as famous, but it's a lot less formal. I've got a range of plants here. Some can be the trees in the forest, other ones can be the ground covers. I got a rock that was left over out of the garden. I can smash that up, maybe make some mountains or some steppers. Some moss that I just scraped up out of the curb and gutter out the front. And I'm not using potty mix, I'm using garden soil. Not the garden soil out of the garden, garden soil out of a bag. I just find that it's a little bit more compact and I can shape it. So if I want to create mounds or gullies, I can do it with that. Some decorative pebbles and my imagination. All right, we'll start with the soil. Let's make some mountains. It's actually good practice for real landscaping because you're working with scale and size and different textures, just like you are in a backyard. So we start with three rocks that are different heights, lengths and shapes. And now I'm putting in my bigger plants. The ficus can go in there. And I think I've got nice height, plenty of interest through the middle. And then you can put all the little plants in. Couple of maidenhair ferns, beautiful. A little bit of Mondo for a colour contrast. The moss and the little stepping stones are going to put in are just going to create a sense of scale. When you see them, you'll realise how big this landscape is. It's just a nice piece of detail. It doesn't cost anything because the moss was free. Anywhere where you haven't covered the soil, you can dress it up with some little pebbles. Now, if it's a real fine spot, you might want to use a funnel, but I'm pretty delicate, so I reckon I can get it in there with my hand. About the hardest thing to do is move this from A to B. It's a great little project you can tackle with the kids and keep them busy on one of those ordinary days. Now, the one I knocked up, I'd call it a rainforest or a mountain range, perfect for a shady spot or inside the house. But just changing the colour of the pot makes it lighter and brighter. And the plants in this one give you a coastal or a beach kind of effect. The plants here are tougher and they can handle it outside in the sun. Well, I've burnt off the rain. Now I can go and do my real job. Mow the lawn.